Well, the first thing is, I think governments have a responsibility. First of all, to honor the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples by the UN, um, to which a number of countries voted for, Trinidad and Tobago being one of them, although it is not ratified here, the convention, but that convention uh, pretty much um, captures most of the concerns of indigenous peoples, not only of Trinidad, but I said around the world. And if the respective governments can honor parts of that declaration by the UN, I think the First Peoples will be on the road to where they should be. Um, the First Peoples have been deprived, as I said, through colonization and, and, and by successive governments from a lot of their rights. They have been pulled in to comply you know, with the mainstream society. And as a result, this contributes to the demise of their culture. Um, but there are elements of the indigenous culture that, are, that is relevant today for, not only for indigenous peoples themselves, but for the wider society. So in, an, in coming back to Trinidad, as you ask, there are a number of things that need to be done. First of all, we have to get back into our school curriculum the history, the true history of our first peoples, because this is where it starts. Too many of our students know the history of other countries and they don't know their own history. That is sad. If we say we are an independent nation and now a republic, we first should know our own history. If you do not know who you are, then you do not know what you want and where you should be heading. So that is the first thing, recognition and honoring the Declaration on the Rights of the First Peoples. School curriculum, education, um, support from the government to do um, uh, capacity building classes um, in terms of getting the people to continue doing their craft, which could be a major tourist um, contributor to the society and to the people. It, you see, the people, they can do their craft, their indigenous craft. But if they make this indigenous craft and there is nowhere to sell it, no one to buy it, what is the use of doing it? You know? So that I, I, I think that is another one, because they can sustain themselves through these things. They have the ability to do it. Another thing is we have to rely a bit more on our local foods, our indigenous foods, our people, um, you know, they planted their own crops and they process their food. Today we may have more updated and modern utensils to process the food because in the earlier days you had to use the original implements which was a very tedious and long process and we can make life a little easier. We can use some of the modern equipment that we have to process the, the very same products, indigenous products and make our indigenous foods to sustain our people. Um, and so they have so many different ways. The forest, for instance, today we are talking about climate change and the indigenous peoples are very in tune with nature and the forest and the waterways and so on. They need to be empowered a bit to go back to that and to continue what they did earlier in contribution, contributing to the preservation of these different areas that will help us to you know, to, 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 to have a society and a place that will be protected from dangers and disasters and so on. So there is a lot that the indigenous peoples have to offer. But if the authorities continue to ignore them and what they have to offer and see it as no value, they too will look for where they can find living through what is available today. And by doing so, they lost the contact with the original ways, which will be very sad, as I said, not only for them, but for the nations where they belong to. Um, so what I can say is we have been getting some level of recognition from, from past and present governments. What I would call so far token recognition, not full recognition. But we are on that road. And I think that the Santa Rosa First Peoples community have been doing quite a lot to educate the national population onto our true history and identity and what we can contribute to nation building. And uh, 
with all that we have been doing, we are seeing that the wider society is becoming more aware, not only becoming more aware, but they are becoming interested in the different aspects of the First Peoples and what they do.